And it's the duty of the Lord to deliver the afflicted. I prophesy. Because you are a righteous brand. I come on, your brand is different from the brand of Satan. Every affliction that grows with your personality. When I say come out, you say come out. Lord said to that man, anytime you do anything that makes you happy, sadness will later come. I prophesy. Concerning that person, every form of affliction that is attached to your rising. Oh yeah, let God set with it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let God set with it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you ready to declare in the name of Jesus? Say any form of affliction. Any form of affliction. Can you shout it very loud? Any form of affliction. Attached to my rising. Attached to my rising. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, your voice can be louder. Any form of affliction. Attached to my right. Say enough is enough. Enough is enough. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I prophesy in the name of Jesus. And as I'm clapping my hands, by the order of God, order of God you don't affliction. Oh, you die. 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 die, die, die. to you. I they want to torment your life. They silence your right and your power and your personality. I come out. Let their right over your life. Oh yeah, jump out. Amen. Oh my God. I come out. Jump out. Amen. I don't know it's watching online that your case go to that. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Let their right over your life. Jump out. Amen. Can you declare say every power, every power in the heart of my life Troubling me. Troubling me. Say, so what are you waiting for? What are you waiting enough for? is enough. enough As I'm clapping my hands, oh yeah, jump out by fire. Jump out. This morning, by the heart of God, we are here to meet with the Lord. Tell somebody you are here to meet with the Lord. Shout it very loud. Say you are here to meet with the Lord. By the grace of God, you are going to use what you have to get what you want. There is power in your tongue. And the almighty God is going to make your tongue to be sharper in the place of power. Joshua chapter 1. Verse 9, I'm going to read 10 later. Okay, the book of Jeremiah. Let's read Jeremiah first. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 9 says, Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my word in thy mouth. Can we read it together very loud, son and clear? Want to go? And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Shall Lord I hear me? Amen. Now hear this, ladies and gentlemen. There is something that is greater within you. But hear this. The pit of hell will not want you to make use of the opportunity of God in you. And until when you make use of it, it will not work. The Lord fixed something on your inside. That will give you a better life later. But hear this. This is the time. Tell somebody, say this is the time. This is the time. You have a mandate to say to any mountain or any situation that looks like mountain in your life to be removed and it shall be removed. Amen. You have right to swallow every power that is saying that they will deal with you. You ask them to God to swallow them. You have right to say to that lonely situation to come to an end in your life. You can call upon the Lord in this season and say, rise up and God will rise up. Hear this. 
You must lay claim on that word in you. There is something. The Lord said, I anoint your tongue. It touched my tongue and something happened. Then you are going to use your mouth to do your life better today. Are you ready for that? Yes, sir. Are you ready for that? Yes, sir. This is what God is going to say. Now, the breath of life from the beginning. Say, when God formed he breathed the breath of life with them. Then in that time, there is something that you carry. But here it is. A lot of people don't know how to make use of what they have. I was speaking with a woman yesterday. A woman of God, she said, I, 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 I discover it's like the, 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 the problem of my father's house, the, my foundation is my problem. I say, Aloma, since you have given your life to Christ, your foundation ceases to be your problem. You have cried to God, you have spoken to God, why are you still linking yourself to your faulty foundation? A lot of people will believe that their life is settled and the problem will not allow them to rest. But I pray for somebody today. That problem in your life, God will bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, God will bring it to an end in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Is somebody listening to me? Say, every error in my foundation. Every error in my foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, can you shout it very loud? Every error in my foundation. Say, hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. And now this is enough. Enough is Say, enough. Say, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Pray. Pray. Don't claim it again. It's your past. And your past have no right with your presence. Because God is about to do something. Your mouth is not for the pronouncement of negative things over your life. There are lots of people that their mouth is being configured to pronounce negative things. But I want to tell somebody today every negative word you have earlier prolonged in your mouth, God will take it out of your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hear this, you are a created fearful being. God created you for people to fear you. We are the one, the fear that people are supposed to fear. So anywhere you go, that is whom you have. No power have the power to stop the rights of God in your life. Is that okay? And because God is there to do something great in your life. In the name of Jesus. Today the Lord promised to cast out the spirit of Enoch in us. Spirit of works. A castrated spirit. In the book of Isaiah chapter 39 verse 7. The book of Isaiah chapter 39 verse 7. To hate. I say, and of thy sons. That shall issue from thee. Which thou shall be God. Shall they take away. And there shall be Enoch's in the palace of the king of Babylon. Verse 10. Okay, verse 8. Says, Then said Ezekiah to Isaiah. Let's read from there. One to go. Good is the word of the Lord which thou hast spoken. He said, Moreover, for there shall be peace. And truth in my days. Now here it is. The man needed peace. But generated problem for his children. When you read that scripture very well. It was the one that showed the place of his armor. To the representative of the king of Babylon. And by the time the word came. The word of the Lord came from the prophet. This thing you have done is going to cause your children to be a slave. And he said, no problem for the fact that I have peace and the children get trouble. I hear this. There are a lot of notable children that grew from the lineage of Ezekiah. They are good, but for nothing. The production that God said, multiply, subdue the head, produce, multiply, fruits of the womb, they did not experience it. Among them, was Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were castrated because of the promise that happened to the life of their father and their father could not do anything about it. That thing happened 100 years after the death of that man. 
100 years after the pronouncement of that, of that pronouncement. That was 100 years after the death of that man. I pray for somebody. Every Enoch spirit you are carrying up and down. I command it that the Jesus, who your leg go force it out of your body. Amen. Can your amen be louder? Amen. The fulfillment of that war 100 years after. It's taken from the book of Dan, the book of Daniel chapter 1, verses 3 to 4. The fulfillment of that word that happened in the book of Isaiah. Daniel chapter 1, verse 3 to 4 say, And the king spake unto Aspenas, the master of his Enoch, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel that we are taking to Babylon. Of the king's seed, he was not looking from the, from the slavery seed. But from the seed of the king, from the royal seed. People that came from the palace to turn to the slave in the palace. And of the princes, verse 4, children in whom was no blemish, but were favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding, science and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning and the tongues of the Chadians. They were castrated. Among them, you see Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego because of what their father had agreed to. I pray. Anything that your forefather agreed to that is troubling your life. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Jesus came to take away that pain. But a lot of people, instead of them to be freed by the blood of Jesus, they go into error the more to go and seek for idol. Or in the name of church. But they were there to seek for idol. I pray in the name of Jesus. The right of any evil doers in your foundation that make people to look down on you anywhere you go. Oh, yeah, let God cast it out now. Amen. Enoch's spirit is bad. Enoch is an ineffectual person. Meaning there's somebody that is not producing any significant or a desired effect in life. They are Enoch. They use so they use them to guide women. Most especially in the Greek days, they are the one that guide the women in the, in the family of Muslim or whosoever. They guide them. In other words, for these people not to be able to sleep with those women, they will castrate them. In other words, they will not have any pleasure in sex. And there are lives that is being a castrated life. Sit down and conserve energy, please. We need to pray. Some life are called castrated life. And there is nothing good happening to such life. It's like somebody suffering from a ancestral yoke. A castrated man with a castrated heart. They will have castrated mind. They will have castrated work. They will have castrated marriage. They will have castrated business, castrated career, and castrated ministry. Enox. The ministry in the order of Enox. They work for other people to reap their, to reap their income. Anything, any castrated man in the realm of the spirit lay hands on, it cannot work. Have you ever seen a dog that is being castrated or animal? They will be fat, right? They will just be eating to fat. A castrated woman in nature will not menstruate. They will just be eating. They will begin to fat. No better production in their body. I pray for somebody here today. Every castrated spirit in the order of your life. I command in the name of Jesus. Let heaven take it out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say let the heaven take it out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say I command in the name of Jesus. I command in the name of say, Jesus. Say every castrated right. Every castrated over, right. My life, over my life. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Palace. Palace. There is somebody that is rendered impotent. Meaning a helper. Will not locate them. They are powerless. They work for people to reap their income. 
their life is a life that nothing will be productive in. They can be in the mix of opportunities and are not released to discharge their ability as a human being. They are castrated person. A castrated man plays in church, especially to, to be a guide of women. That is not their wife. They begin to go. They will guide them seriously because they knew that they would not sleep with those women. So there are lots of people, marriage will be a lot of things to them. There are castrated people that are married, they have children, but their life is not working well because they have castrated in the realm of the spirit. I'm not going into that area medically way. I'm going to a spiritual one. Any man with a castrated man will produce an impotent result. The result, the word of your mouth will not be potent. When opportunity comes your way, the opportunity will disappear. People around will want to celebrate with you, but they will not come and look down on you. This is what they do. This is the reason. We have castrated leaders. Many of the leaders that lead us in this nation, they are castrated men and women. This is the reason they cannot produce any better thing. Until when God shout for us and deliver us from castrated leaders. And this is exactly what God is up to in our life. And I pray in the name of Jesus, God will deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. From every castrated leaders, God will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. A lot of people are with castrated ideas. Ideas that is not potent. A lot of people, they have castrated human rights. They will only shout without action. We have a lot of human rights activists in Nigeria. And throughout the world, many of them will only shout. By the time they give them money, they will keep quiet. Is somebody listening to me? They are like imbecile in the realm of the spirit. But today, every castrated man in the order of anyone here, God will change it for better in the name of Jesus. Amen. Castrated man will run. The inox will run without motion. They will be running. No motion. They will be speaking. Their voice will not be heard. They are ready for marriage. They will be looking at people celebrating, but they will never celebrate. Because they don't have a proof to show. That is the act in them. But I pray today, by the order of God, every castrated manner of a thing in you, heaven will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, heaven will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, heaven will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Man. They live opposite of their life. They have people that will help them, but they will never come to around them. Because this has been their way. Their pride, their power, and their gain is being withdrawn from them. And see, they'll be behaving as if they are doing well in the journey of life. When you see them, they are they, when they look at you, the way they will look at you, they will look down on you. You'll be thinking, ah, is that in a color and that you And you don't know they don't even have anything. When they talk to you, they want to talk to you as if you are nobody. Whereas, you are somebody than them. Hear this? A lot of people have been castrated from the womb. Some, during conception, the castrated spirit is in them. They will just shoot harrow and afflict their mother's tummy. And the woman will be carrying a castrated life. By the time the child grow up, for that child to do well on earth, it's going to be a problem. They will pray, pray, pray. Where is the problem coming from? There is no trace of that problem from the family. But there is a force that is interested in the life of that child from the womb. No wonder the word of the Lord says, from the womb, their glory do what? Disappear. That was for Ephraim. From conception, nothing good to work for them. I don't know is here. Any power that took your glory from the womb, let there be restoration. Amen. I pray for you. I say, let there be restoration. Amen. Do you know that devil helps a lot of people who are castrated in Enoch? It will still help them to go and see power from unknown place, ungodly place. And you know what? They will get to that place and they will start disturbing their own self. But I pray for you today. 
I pray for myself today. Every castrated heart, the like of Enoch in us, God will fire it out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to announce to seven persons, say every castrated act in your life. Every will cast it out in the name of Jesus. So seven persons now want to go. Every castrated, castrated life you are living. Everyone will take it out of your life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the reason you discover a lot of people have incomplete ministry. Their marriage is not complete. When they marry today, they will be out of marriage tomorrow. And they link that. There are lots of people you see. They look so beautiful but no husband. They have children, but no husband. The husband is not dead. Because of what? The life of that woman is being castrated. They are some. They don't have wife, but they have children. Where is your wife? The wife is, is the wife of another man. I pray. Every castrated attitude in the life of anyone here, God will deliver you from it in the name of Jesus. Amen. If your breakthrough is incomplete, your career is incomplete, your business is incomplete. I command in the name of Jesus. Receive deliverance in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are some castrated husbands and children. Some are with children. Some don't have. They don't have what to give. Every time their wife will be asking their honey, and they begin to put their hand in the pocket. Nothing is happening. Nothing. Honey, nothing is happening. No, no please, I'm so. Must you be begging your wife every day? Honey, I'm sorry. No money today. Honey, I'm sorry. No business today. And your wife will just look at you and say, look at this good for nothing woman be. That is not your making. If you fall into that category, God will deliver you today. Amen. Can the amen be louder? Amen. amen. You have to check that there is something that is responsible. And this is the reason the Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Enough gather things for other men to enjoy it. When you look at those men, they were there. Every brilliancy in Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know what? It was for other people. Anything they have is for other children. They don't go get children. Because of what? They are being castrated. When you see they are brilliant, no one will, no one will inherit their brilliancy. Nobody. They just die like that. And when they are leaving Babylon, the word of the Lord say, and the people of Israel left the Babylon, even the Enochs. They were not Enochs by birth. They were not Enochs before they get to Babylon. They were made Enochs when they got to the land of Babylon. When you are a slave to any man, the man that hold you as a slave have rights over you. I pray for somebody. If you are in any hold of slavery, heaven will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say my God will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you declare say from any form of slavery? From any form of slavery. I come out in the name I of come Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Here yeah, is the life of these people is not known to be organized, organizing life. They are not known to be a complete person. One of the major products in them is to be fruitful, but it's not going to be there. There are castrated persons who are demonically programmed, sort listed to be seen as a servant of servants. Educated, but with illiterate mentality and lifestyle. That has been in there. Well educated. One of the castrated fellows I've never seen in my life was Siba. Siba had opportunity to make use of everything that belonged to Saul. Before Solomon we arrived. You know what happened to Siba? Siba was gathering wives. Concubine. A slave. Concubine. Getting children and a lot of people. Also had slaves as well. Even in a place that doesn't belong to him. But I never know that a day will come. That the owner of the land will come and take over. Enoch, the people with Enoch spirit, they don't make opportunity of what comes into their hands and what comes into their life. But today, God will take over. Amen. The Lord will 
God promised me today, I promise everyone, that it will wipe away tears from your eyes. Amen. Revelation chapter 24, chapter 21 verse 4. Revelation 21 verse 4 say, And God shall wipe all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor cry, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are come to pass. I want everyone to declare this word. Say, I command in the name of Jesus. I command the name of Jesus. Okay, can you stand up and declare that? Say, I command in the name of Jesus. Over my life, Adele Katayora Ezekiel. I come against the power of tears. No more sorrow. No more agony. In the order of my life. In the name of Jesus. Can you shout hallelujah? Now say amen to this, I command. Every tears that come with season, that means seasonal cry. Over everyone that your amen will be like that. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every tears and cry that is attached to your testimony. I command by the order of God. Oh yeah, let that test disappear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every form of tears attached to your marriage and you're moving forward in life. I command. Oh yeah, disappear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every form of aged and ancient cry. You met your people cry. And you follow them in crying. I prophesy. By the order of God. Let God take over in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can somebody declare now? Say, I command in the name of Jesus. Anything that first cry in my life. Say, so what are you waiting for? What are you waiting enough for? Enough is enough. enough, is enough. As, I'm As I'm clapping my hands. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, disappear now. Disappear now. Oh, yeah. Disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. In the name of Jesus. Disappear now. Oh, yeah. Let God disappear. Disappear now. Let God take it off in your life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Disappear now. Oh, yeah. Disappear now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are here. A particular hand came and accused you in the dream. And in that time, life has not been the same for you. You better pray. Say, hey, man. Lord promised somebody here. They will say, Lord, amen. Say, there shall be a new glory. Amen. There shall be a new glory. Amen. The book of Revelation chapter 21, verse 22 to 24. But before we read this scripture, you are going to declare, I receive a new glory. They are not shouting it. Are you afraid? I receive a new glory. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive a new glory. I receive a new glory. Say by the power of the Almighty God. I receive a new glory. I receive a new glory. Say by the right of divine mandate. I receive a new glory. Can you shout out the amen? Amen. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Enter into your season of a new glory. Amen. Anointing for a new glory. Oh, yeah, receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Power for a new glory. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Right for a new glory. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say by fire, by force. I receive a new glory. I receive a new glory. Shout out the hey, amen. Hey, amen. Revelation 21, verse 22 to 24. Says, And I saw no temple there. Stand up. I saw no temple there. We are going to read it together. Can I read it together very loud, son? I can want to go. And I saw no temple there. For the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. 23. And the city had no need of the sun. Neither of the moon. To shine in it. For the glory of God. They lighten it. And the lamb is the light there. Verse 24. And the nations of them. Which are saved. Shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the head. Do bring their glory and honor into it. Kings of the earth will bring their glory to you. I take it back. King of the earth will bring their glory to me. They will bring their honor to me. 
So say the king of the earth will bring their honor to you. And they will bring their glory to you. And they, will bring their glory to me. they will submit their right to you. In the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to shout out that amen. Declare this. Say, anointing for a new glory. Somebody is not shouting it very loud. Say, my life is available. My life is available. Say, life for a new glory. Life for a new glory. My life is available. My life is available. Say, as I'm clapping my hands. As I'm clapping my hands. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, fall, 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 For a new glory, I glory. I command it in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, for, 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 can you shout it very loud? Say, my love is available. In the name of Jesus. When, new, when the new glory come over your life, your life will change for a better. You have been struggling before. Struggle will become the language of the past. When you carry a new glory, everybody around you will come and embrace you. That is the word of God for your life. Say, grace for a new glory. Say fame for fame for a new glory. Say right for a new glory. Say what are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, fall upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Say I command by the order of God. Let all this glory. Oh yeah, fall, 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 fall. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You better declare. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Aha. Aha. Person, I will shout out. I, 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 I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Enter into your season of a new glory. Amen. We are noble. We are noble. We are noble. We bring their right to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. A guy chapter 2, verse 9. A guy chapter 2, verse 9 says, The glory of this letter house shall be greater than that of the former. Amen. The glory of this letter house shall be greater than the former. Amen. Can your hammer be louder? Amen. Say the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace. Say the Lord of hosts. The peace that passeth all understanding. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord is saying to me, after the glory is released, it will secure it. Amen. They are not shouting amen. amen. I said the Lord is saying, after that glory is released to you, it will secure that glory. Amen. Isaiah chapter 4 verse 5 the book of Isaiah chapter 4 verse 5 says and the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon our assemblies a cloud and smoke by day and a shining of a flaming fire by night for upon all the glory shall be a defense I pray by the order of God Concerning the glory we are carrying out of this place today. Let there be defense in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let there be defense in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you announce to somebody, say your glory will attract defense. Announce to that person very well. Say your glory will attract defense. In the name of Jesus. Shout out that amen. I pray in the name of Jesus because your glory is carrying what is called security. Your glory will be lifted up in the name of Jesus. Amen. The glory of the moving forward that will make your voice to be a global one. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, receive it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
accelerated glory. Nibi tamo go baduro si kogo tieko tayo. Now in that place where glory assemble, that your glory will be single for for help. Amen. So I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, let your glory manifest in the name of Jesus. Amen. I announce glory manifestation. I command in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, manifest in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare glory of help. Where help is void in your generation. The glory of the Lord will search you out for help in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare concerning that person the glory of your moving forward. Oh yeah, receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory of job. Glory of joy. Amen. Glory of life. Amen. And marriage. Amen. Glory of security. Amen. The Lord will bring it out for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every hidden glory is coming out of their hidden places in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is saying, as you tell that woman, your glory of fruitfulness will be on stop this season. And he said, I should tell somebody, your evidence of livelihood is reappearing with the command of no more shaking. With the command of no more danger. No more damage. No more issue. Hey, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Amen. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5 says, For Hi, say the Lord, we be unto her a war of fire round about. Amen. And we be the glory in the midst of her. Let your glory manifest in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is saying, I shall tell that man, that woman, that on that matter you shall not be ashamed. Amen. Because the word of the Lord say in Isaiah 54, verse 4. Isaiah 54, verse 4 says, Fear not. For thou shalt not be ashamed. Amen. Neither be thou be confounded. Amen. For thou shalt not be put to shame. Amen. For thou shalt forget the shame of your youth. Amen. And shall not be remembered the reproach Amen. of the widowhood anymore. Say, I shall not be ashamed. I shall not be ashamed. Somebody that supports the shout is not shouting. Say, I shall not be ashamed. I shall not be ashamed. Oh my God, I want your voice to be louder. Say in the name of Jesus, I shall not be ashamed. I shall not be ashamed. My family shall not be ashamed. My family shall not be ashamed. My destiny shall not be ashamed. My destiny shall not be ashamed. My life shall not be ashamed. My life shall not be ashamed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shall not Amen. I prophesy no more enchantment against you. Amen. Hey. No one will deceitfully come into your life and charm you. Amen. No more divination against you. Amen. Anyone that stands to seek your future and fire arrow into your future. A particular woman met with me yesterday in a church. She said, don't need prophetic word. There are somebody is here. You have a particular affliction in your body and you have been hiding it. And one of our daughters in the Lord Say, yes, ma. I'm the one. That's the oil you pray on. You pray on that oil. And yesterday morning, I discovered that a white stone entered into that oil. There is no space. But our stone got into that place. Just since I rubbed it in my body, I've been feeling uneasy. Until when I now just look at that, I saw something, I shake it. It was shaking. It was not there before we slept yesterday. Somebody look in the way of divination and fire arrow into our future. But I pray for somebody here today. Anyone that stands to fire arrow into your future. Arrow attacks your name, attacks your business and everything you do. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, fire it back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say every form of arrow. Any form of arrow. Fire it to my life. Fire it to my life. Say I command in the name of Jesus. I command in the name of Jesus. I fire it back. I fire it back. Say I fire it back. I fire it back. In the name 
name of Jesus. Number chapter 23, verse 23, the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 23 says, Surely there is no enchantment against a delicate. You fix your name in that place. Neither is there any divination against Ezekiel. According to this sign, it shall be said of Adelaide Ezekiel Atairo, what God has wrought. In NLC, NLC say, no cause can touch Adelaide. It's there. Let's go to NLT. No cause. So I pray. Any form of curses that is coming along your way, growing as you are growing, I pray in the name of Jesus, God will cast them out in the name of Jesus. Amen. And he also said, no magic has any power against Adeleke. Do you see that? So any magician right over any word here, I prophesy. When you let go, take it out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord say I should tell that person that your generational issue will bow down for you. Amen. Say your generational issue will bow down for you. Amen. Call Isaiah 55 verse 1 and 5. Isaiah 55 verse 1 and 5. Say, Behold, I am giving him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander to the people. Behold, Thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not. One day, Sammy, they don't say amen. amen. A nation that knew not thee shall run unto thee. Amen. amen. Because of the Lord thy God and for the only one of Israel. For he hath glorified. Amen. The standard of God in your life will not be diminished. Amen. amen. You are now a witness of hope. Amen. Anywhere you go, the power of God will speak for you. Amen. Hey, because your generational issue might not be balanced with people as they are growing up. It could be the issue of what you are passing through. But God is in the business of answering prayers. Yes. God will answer your prayer. Amen. Can everybody be upstanding and declare? Say, oh, my generational issues. Oh, my generational issues. Ladies and gentlemen, can you declare very loud? Oh, my generational issues. That is probably my advancement. That is probably my advancement. Say, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I command in the name of Jesus. As I'm clapping my hands. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, destroy by fire. Destroy by fire. Aha, oh, yeah. Destroy by fire. Destroy by fire. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let them destroy. In the name of Jesus, let them destroy. Anything in your body that is not allowing your life to grow. That have been growing in your generation, grow with your generation. Let the heaven destroy in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray this prayer. I don't know that power that will suddenly drop him back from your generation. It has been dropping you back. It will bring you down and you will stay for a long time before you give testimony again. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. We are let that power destroy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Say every arrow. Every arrow. Fire at the growth. Fire at the growth. At the growth. Growth. Of any man, of any man and, any woman, and any woman in my family, in my family including me. Including Say, what are, what are you waiting for? Hear the word of God. Hear the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, die by fire. Die by fire. Let it die, the name of Jesus. Let it expire. Let it expire. Let it die. Oh, yeah. Supposed to have married, but marriage is not coming. Can you come forward? God is saying I should run it up with this. Please don't do guy at this bus stop. No, you're supposed to have married, but marriage is not coming. You will clap your hands very well as you release yourself to God. Is that okay? okay. The song we are going to sing is Deliver Me. 
fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. It is possible for you to be formating fire and fire is not working in you. Do you believe that? It's possible. It is possible for you to be a deliverer that need a deliverance. I remember I ministered this some time ago. A deliverer that need deliverance. So today, God will say to us, close your eyes Amen. and you clap your hands very well. Say, deliver me. Deliver me. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. They are not shouting very well. Say, deliver me. Deliver me. That is good. It can be better. Say, deliver me. Deliver me. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. If you are standing in for somebody, you can stand in for that person. Say, deliver me. Deliver me. Fire of the Holy Ghost. If you are a small boy or girl here, your mother is not married to your father, join so they can marry, properly married. If you are here with, your, with a man that you are not married to, you are not still married, you have commit fornication. I mean, a, a fornication, not even adultery. Adultery is people that are married. Fornication is people that are not married. So you are not married, is fornication. That man can still go and marry another person and that woman because there is nothing that ties you together. As a matter of fact, you are committing wardom. You are committing prostitution in high class. This is the reason. You have to go now. Get angry today and go and pay dowry for that person. When you pay dowry, come here. I will do marriage blessing for you. But I can't do marriage blessing without dowry. I will never join robbers together and thieves. I will never join them. Is that okay? This is the reason. A lot of people will struggle, nothing will work. Because there are some women, you can't marry, you can't get life in you if you don't marry them properly. How will it be? Upon everything, investment in the life of your children as they are growing up. And just, you just discover that your, one of your daughters now pack and meet a man. And you are now happy as a father. That happiness is not a total happiness. The world is even in laughter, the heart is still sorrowful. You are going to declare, say, deliver me. Deliver me. You are still in the same category of single that are not yet married. The only thing that is different in you is you have children. And anyone among you, you are still with a man that you have not, you have not given birth for a child for. Hello. Pray very well and leave that house. Go and leave. Let him come and marry you proper. Come for any suloka. Make him marry you. Made any decision. Is that day that the Lord has made? Hello. If you have 20 children, you have children in immorality. Yeah. And God did not support such things. Somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. Such person is a thief. You are a thief. If you fall into that category, you are what? A total thief. If you don't receive the blessing of your parents and you pack your Lord or you keep a woman in the house, you are a thief. God is against it. You are making the pit of hell to rejoice over you. When the pit of hell is rejoicing over any man, meaning that God is hungry over that person. Your prayer will be hindered. There is nothing you can do about it. Your fasting is in error. If you have 200 years fasting, it's in error. And if you also marry, you are not treating your spouse very well. You have problem. As a matter of a first class problem. Somebody listen to me. First grade Enoch. First, first grade Enoch. That is whom that person is. But God will deliver you today. Amen. After today, begin to get angry. Get angry at yourself. If you get angry at me, you are deceiving yourself. Get angry at yourself. Say, I want to marry properly. And if you have not married anything that is holding you down, must come to an end today. Amen. If you are single, don't blow guy. Hello. When you see the girl where you want married, when God said this is your girl, don't go there and begin to speak grammar. Look at that person. Hello? If you weigh yourself, say, a particular lady came sometimes ago with her masters, and I said to her, I know of a particular girl, a particular lady that married to a painter, a painter without money. Okay? This lady is a chartered accountant, married to a painter. It was that painter that painted this church. You hear me? It's that guy that paint the church. Married to that guy, and they are doing well. And I said to that lady, 
You have been saying, I want to marry, I want to marry. You come, you sow seed. Tell me the category of the man you want. I was expecting her to say tall, black, with eyelashes. Some people, they say, I want to marry to somebody that will take care of me. They will come to you, I want to take care of you. When you enter into the house, your high will seem where? This is the issue of so many ladies. I want to marry a man that will, I cannot be suffer and the man is suffer. Who told you? Who told you that when you marry, you will suffer? There are some people that their marriage is that uh, their life is attached to marriage. Until when they marry, nothing good will happen. And when you are waiting for a ready-made man, many ready-made men you are waiting for today, they have children somewhere. You don't want to start from the low class. You want to start from you want to begin to climb ladder from the top. When you are climbing ladder from the bottom, from the top, you are coming down. But when you are climbing ladder from the bottom, what are you doing? You are going higher. There's a problem of so many single ladies. You want a ready-made man. Don't marry a jobless man, but marry a man that God chose for you. If a man is without a job, pray. Make Kuna pray very well. Make job come. Somebody listen to me. And don't marry somebody that does not believe your doctrine. There will be a problem. Don't worry. I will release you to go to your church anytime. I will list you. I'm not just a Christian. I don't just like it. And you say, no, I don't mind with that. I'll be going to church. One day, the guy go tell you, say, where are you going? Say, church, now we have agreement. Which agreement? If you don't bow down to my God, you go. And because you don't want to be ashamed. Ha, I don't marry before. You don't want people to say, I want to pack out of the marriage. Begin to package it up. And people will be asking, how oh, you are getting slim out? And you are eating. You are getting slim out. Say, nothing is happening. God is good. God is good. I begin to get here. We'll be going until when you fall down. Nine people go know say something is wrong. So you have to check. Don't check with your with your eyes. Check with your mind. A lot of guys when they see a baby that is shaking bone bone, they say yes. This is the bone of my bone. The bone of your bone. They for bone bone. Now this is what we have to say. Some people say I like yellow girl. Oh. God deliver one of my sons from yellow girl. I said, God said, a yellow girl go kill you. And his spirit always going to yellow girl. Until when last yellow girl give her last card. I said, thank you, Jesus. Prayer come true. Somebody listen to me. What you need is the voice of God. And the lady said, anyone I see, if he can read and write. He can do what? Read and what? Right. I said, you are, you are a master holder. Say, daddy, that one does not count. All I want is somebody that God is giving to me. There are lots of people that are married with the standard of this man. He's, a, he's, he's an accountant. This is this. He's a graduate of philosophy working in NYSC or even fly chartered. And by the time you enter into the house, two people will be dragging that man with you. He get money, they use one he with the motto. When you see that car, you begin to look at your center where you will sit inside that car. I want to tell you, there are so many of them that you see them, they ride those big cars. Your position is not in that car. Your position is in the car where they want to just have something to do with you. But when they say, let's not, they will tell you, I'm sorry, I'm still here. I'm still, I'm still here. I'm still waiting. Are you ready to shout? Yes. Say, deliver me. Deliver me. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Can you shout the very well? Say, deliver me. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Some years back, a particular lady came here and said, Daddy, one of my friends, because the husband needed a graduate. She formed to be a graduate. She had been chased out of school for some years. And because the husband needed a graduate. And she formed NYC certificates, put on NYC cloth, go to Benway State, and stay in Benway State for one year, and the guy was sponsoring somebody that is not in NYSC. You just go there to snap picture. Do every Ajuaya thing and the rest. And she came with certificate. When it was time for that lady to get job, the husband was highly connected. Okay, my dear, we want to get job for you after the marriage. And say, yeah, why is it certificate? The lady said, I'm sorry, because you said you need a graduate. That's why I have to present graduate for you. I think I've shared this before. Choose a man that God is 
given to you and a woman that God is giving to you. A lot of people are not married now because of whom they choose for themselves. Some are not having children because of their choice. Now my choice, whether now what again? Now my choice, so oh, now my choice, so oh. how many of us know it? You are going to declare. Why the prayer I say you are going to pray? Say deliver me. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Are you ready to clap your hands? When I say deliver me, say fire of the Holy Ghost. Are we ready for it? Oh yeah, deliver me, oh fire of the Holy Ghost. Deliver me, oh. They are not clapping, no, they are not shouting. Deliver me, oh. Oh yeah, deliver me, oh fire of the Holy Ghost. Deliver me, oh. Aha! Oh yeah. Oh, deliver me, oh. Deliver me, oh. Fire! You might lay down, you might sit down. If you are marathon fasting, you might sit down if you don't have strength. Aha. coming with your invitation card. Amen. Some of you, you are coming with that man and that woman. See, it's the person I want to marry. Amen. I pray before the end of this year, as many that God have released marriage for go and marry. Amen. Every agony standing on your marital door. I prophesy. Every spirit of spearmen is shedding your shenoko. They stand at the door. Every power of lionic type. I prophesy. Oh, yeah, let the power come tonight. Amen. Now, to as many you are in marriage, you are not enjoying your marriage, you are enduring your marriage. I pray. Total enjoyment. Oh, yeah, receive it in your marriage. Amen. If your parents are not enjoying their marriage, I prophesy to any children there or any youth here. Oh, yeah, let the life of your parents change for better. Amen. Every agony attached to your mother, oh, you yeah, jump out. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Can you shout seven louder? Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Shout hallelujah.